In this video, we are discussing types of data under big data. So, there are three main types of data which will be existing under big data. One is the structured data, unstructured data and semi-structured data. Structured data means that data which is getting generated from say web blocks, from different sensor data, machine generated data or the data which you are collecting through the surveys from the directly from the human beings and so on. So, like their names, sex, address, date of birth and so on. Here this data will be represented or can be represented in the form of rows and columns. So, database is a good example of structured data. So, next data is about unstructured data. Unstructured data means the sensor generated images, the videos, the PDF, the text file. So, they cannot be expressed in the terms of or cannot be represented in the terms of rows and columns will be known as the unstructured data. And the last category is about semi-structured data. In case of semi-structured data, to some extent it is structured, to some extent it is unstructured. So, JSON files, XML files can be considered as a semi-structured data. So, let us go for some more detailing. The big data are categorized into three different types that is the structured data, unstructured data and semi-structured data. So, let me discuss each one of them one by one. So, at first we are going for this database. You can find that this is a good example of a structured data. We are having certain columns. So, there is the employee number, name, age, department and salary and here we are having the respective rows containing the respective information. So, here we are having the records and here we are having the columns. So, structured data are those type of data which are stored already in an order and there are nearly 20 percent of the total existing data nowadays and these data are structured. And all the data generated from sensors, web blocks and these all machine generated structured data. So, these are the machine generated structured data, there is a web blocks, there is our sensor data and so on. The human generated structured data are those which are taken as information from a human like their names, addresses, gender and date of birth and so on. So, the example of structured data is database. So, now let us concentrate on the unstructured data. So, this is the unstructured data. So, the unstructured data have no clear format in storage and we can store structured data in rows and columns database, but unstructured data cannot be stored like that. So, unstructured data cannot be stored in the form of rows and columns. And we are having at least 80 percent of the data nowadays existing which is which are unstructured. All satellite generated images, scientific data or images are categorized as machine generated unstructured data. So, the images which will be sent by the respective satellites can be treated uh, falling in the category of unstructured data. There are various types of human generated unstructured data and these are the images, videos, social media data etc. So, the example of unstructured data are the text documents, PDFs, images and videos etc. So, this is the theory or this is the concept against this unstructured data. So, now let us come to the last category that is the semi-structured data. So, it is very difficult to categorize this type of data. Sometimes they look structured and sometimes they will be looking as unstructured. So, that is why these data are known as semi-structured data. We cannot store this type of data using traditional database format and but it contains some organizational properties. And examples of semi-structured data are spreadsheet files which we have in our excel, in our calc, we are having the spreadsheet files. So, spreadsheet file is a good example of semi-structured data. We are having the xml or json documents that is a java script object notation. So, extended markup language that is a full form of xml and no SQL database are the data items which are falling under this unstructured data. So, no SQL is, a, is a one kind of database where we can keep this type of data in a very efficient way. So, in this video we have discussed that what are the different types of data that big data is going to handle. Thanks for watching this video.